people are often asking me, like at least once every couple years or so, how do you and Kyle keep the romance alive when you have six kids? And I've even had people simply ask, why do you have six kids? <laughs> but that's a different question. By no means are we experts, but we do have some tips and tricks from our nearly 20 years of marriage that we want to share. And sure, the sparks may not be as bright as they were when I first started courting you, but now we have all these embers that are glowing and burning, and the heat that we've got from this is so strong. Okay, Kyle, it is... I think they get it. Right. They get it. Sorry about that. <laughs> So, today's intentional tip for keeping the romance alive is to add a little wine to your daily routine. It has worked wonders, and it's so simple. Some nights, Kyle and I have a glass of red wine when the kids have gone to bed and we're picking up the toys that we failed to get them to pick up themselves. And if you're comfortable with that, You'll also enjoy a glass of wine as you clean permanent marker off the walls. A bottle of white vinegar cleaning solution is a potent aphrodisiac. And sometimes it's nice to have a little red wine while you're cleaning up the red wine you spilled. And at that point, you should probably stop drinking the wine. Sure, the honeymoon may be over, and yeah, we have six kids. But just because we're not going to a fancy vineyard doesn't mean that we can't have a romantic evening at home. And that's just one way we keep the sparks alive in our marriage. What is this? Ah, we're all out of wine. It's balsamic vinegar. Oh. I added sugar. <laughs> <laughs>